Welcome to PM Weather, ladies and gentlemen. I'm student meteorologist Alex Herbst. Here with your forecast for the state of New Hampshire today. Well, Punxsutawney Phil brought six more weeks of winter for us here in the United States, and it was definitely on display all throughout New England and the Northeast, as New Hampshire and Plymouth State University were coated in another blanket of snow, with a couple of inches coming down today, seen here falling over Rounds Hall and the Mary Lyon Green. Current temperature here in Plymouth is 9 degrees with a dew point of 7 below. It is bright sunshine, but certainly the temperatures feel a lot colder than that 9 that we're seeing right now with that wind still clicking at around 8 miles an hour. Nice and warm, 54 in New York City, and you'll see that those temperatures continue to rise nationwide. Think about where we were a week ago. We saw 20s and 30s throughout much of the central states here, but now we're looking at 49 degrees in Dallas, 63 in Houston, 63 also in Kansas City. So the warm air is here. Spring is right around the corner for us here in the United States. And as we look to Wednesday, we can see the beginnings of that next system that could be impacting our area by the end of the week with more snow. Looking at tonight's forecast, we'll see 21 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Winds will be out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thank you for watching PM Weather. I am student meteorologist Alex Herbst. Welcome to PM Weather, ladies and gentlemen. I'm student meteorologist Alex Herbst, here with your forecast for central New Hampshire and all of the Granite State. Our Plymouth State weather cam does show that we have partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies throughout the campus of Plymouth State today. Everyone really did get outside and enjoy really the first taste of spring for us here in the White Mountain region and up into the North Country. As we saw, temperatures definitely get very warm today, unseasonably warm at that. We saw 72 degrees here in Plymouth, which is much higher than our normal for this time of year, 53. We also saw a low of 30 degrees last night, and we saw it get right around the normal low, which is around 29 for this time of year. Our sunset tonight is at around 7.28 p.m. Sunrise set for 6.08 tomorrow morning. Our current conditions as of 5.30 p.m. here in Plymouth do show a temperature of 71 degrees with bright sunny skies. It's a wonderful night to go outside and be able to go and enjoy a dinner out or maybe go take a walk down near the Pemigewasset River. And we also see a dew point of 41 and winds to the south at 3 miles an hour. Not too much to worry about until we get to the overnight hours, say around 2 or 4 in the morning when you are fast asleep. When, that's when we'll be getting some rain showers possibly coming into our area for the morning hours. Our temperatures around New Hampshire show 73 degrees to our south in Concord, 74 in Nashua. And as we head further south throughout the northeast and New England, it is 66 in Hartford. It is also 78 back in Syracuse, New York, where we see some a lot warmer temperatures as we head further south. We can see that those continue as we head to Washington, D.C., where it's 78, 73 degrees in Charlotte. But surprisingly, the area that's been the warmest for the past two weeks is now becoming one of the coldest, as we see here in parts of Texas and Oklahoma. So that's where we're seeing a lot of heavy rain right now from Little Rock stretch back into Tulsa, Oklahoma, where there's really a lot of precipitation that's holding down those temperatures to that lower degree where you see 66 degrees in Dallas. And it's definitely much cooler as you go further to the north. Our satellite and radar for New Hampshire, we see some clouds are starting to roll into parts of Vermont and New Hampshire, much of Grafton County back down as far south as Laconia and Concord, even down into Keene, we're seeing some clouds start to roll in ahead of our rain that we're expecting for tonight. As we can see, that rain is now moving its way across Lake Erie and Lake Ontario into parts of southern Canada, where it will be making its way through New York in a matter of a few hours. That rain will come in for the early morning hours for us here in New Hampshire, but to the south, we see even more of the heavy rain. There's that rain I was talking about, stretched from Tulsa back across Little Rock, down to Fayetteville, Arkansas, back even further towards Memphis, Tennessee. We're also seeing some thunderstorms that are popping up here right along the panhandle of Florida. So Panama City, Mobile, Alabama, that area definitely getting hit with some thunderstorms. And as we see on our surface map, there are those scattered showers that are falling right now, showers and thunderstorms across Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. We also see some heavy rain across the Arklatex and back into Mississippi and Louisiana. And then here's our rain up here to the north. That rain is going to be moving across our area in the next 24 hours. We'll see that start moving forward, and we're going to see that the precipitation then hangs on for areas like the mid-Atlantic coastline, like New Jersey, back down into Virginia and the Carolinas. That's going to hang on during the day tomorrow, and it could be there until the late afternoon hours, but the rain still in full force here in the southeastern states. Then on Wednesday, the rain's still hanging on as that cold front becomes more stationary across the southern parts of the states. But more importantly for us here in New Hampshire, this right here, this big high pressure, is going to bring us some much-needed spring weather after that very long winter that we have seen here in New Hampshire. Our mile forecast shows, well, around 10 o'clock tonight, we start seeing those showers start to pop into parts of western New York, and we'll start to see them moving across there. And by 6 o'clock in the morning, we're in the, we're in the middle of it here in New Hampshire, and parts of central New Hampshire, that is. So as you see from Keene all the way back up to Concord, even as far north as North Conway and Berlin, you could be seeing some showers in the early morning hours. If you have to make an early commute into Manchester, definitely watch out for some rain as you're driving down I-93. But by around noontime, it's all going to clear out. We're going to start seeing 
the skies go from mostly cloudy back down to partly cloudy, and it's going to be a wonderful end of the day on Tuesday, and into the day on Wednesday looks even better. Even better, as you can see, less clouds, a lot more sunshine. And then for our forecast for tonight, we're looking at some showers late, so probably starting in central New Hampshire around 2 to 4 in the morning, we'll be looking at a low of 47 degrees, which is really not all that low compared to where we were maybe this time next week, last week that is, and winds are from the south at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. For tomorrow, we're looking at 60 degrees, 60, that's a lovely sight. With showers ending by around noontime, we'll give way to mostly cloudy, then partly cloudy skies by around sunset. Winds will be out of the west at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And for tomorrow night, 36 degrees, clear skies, and seasonable temperatures. This is a seasonable low for this time of year. And to think that we were actually enjoying these highs at one point in the winter. Winds will be out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And for our extended forecast, those 30 degree readings, well, they're no longer the highs. They are the lows. And we're seeing some 50s and 60s continuing throughout the rest of this week. 4 p.m. weather, I'm Alex Herbst. Have a great night, folks.